Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. What do these two guys have to do with how Motley Crue picked their name? We'll tell you that, and a bunch of other little known facts about Nikki, Vince, Tommy, and Mick in this episode of You Think You Know Classic Rock? But first, here's another fun fact. According to the band's official autobiography, The Dirt, the first time Nikki Six and Mick Mars met, they didn't really like each other. Mick was shopping at a liquor store where Six worked, and the pair got into a debate about who was better, Kiss and Aerosmith or Jeff Beck. Six wound up throwing Mars out of the store, but not before the guitarist challenged him to come see him play live. When Six did just that, he was impressed, and the two wound up spending the night getting drunk together. Now, even though Tommy and Vince knew each other from high school, it was Tommy and Nikki who first started playing together. Lee says the house they rehearsed in was so dirty that if you ate a sandwich, you had to hold on to it the whole time, or the bugs that overran the house would try to steal it from you. Later on, Tommy saw an ad that Mick had placed in a local paper. Loud, rude, and aggressive guitarist available. When he came to audition, Lee and Six were very impressed with his playing, but there was the little matter of getting rid of the band's existing guitarist. Depending on whose side of the story you believe, Mars was either forced to fire the man he was replacing, or took it upon himself to do so. The one part of the story that both sides did agree on? Well, they both thought of the guy as somewhat of a pansy, uh, and the fact that he cried when he was fired didn't help. So now they were a trio, but they still needed a singer. Six and Mars had already seen Vince in action, and when they found out Tommy knew him from school, they put him in charge of landing the singer for their band. At first, Neil resisted, even lying to Lee by saying he had lost the drummer's phone number when he washed his clothes. And he believed me, Neil marveled. I never ever wash my clothes. Later on, after getting screwed over by his current band, Neil agreed to come down for a jam session, and as we all know by now, magic struck. We were Motley Crue right then, Tommy said, at that effing moment. They reportedly even created one of their most famous songs, Livewire, in the first five minutes of that fateful session. Now, they just needed a name, which brings us back to that old beer commercial. Tonight, let it be low and brown. As Vince Neil told Vanity Fair back in 2009, the band borrowed the double umlaut look for their name from Lowenbrow, which they happened to be drinking at the time, in his words. When we came up with the name, we didn't even know what umlauts were. We were drinking Lowenbrow, and when we decided to call ourselves Motley Crue, we put some umlauts in there because we thought it made us look European. We had no idea that it was a pronunciation thing. When we finally went to Germany, the crowds were chanting, Motley Crue, Motley Crue. We couldn't figure out why the f they were doing that. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more episodes of You Think You Know Classic Rock? Meanwhile, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out more of the best in classic rock coverage on ultimateclassicrock.com. Classic Rock.com.